How you going? Lincoln here from Lampfish TV. Today I'm going to go chase some flatties because I want some flatty tails for dinner. So I'm out here. You might not be able to see it, but I'll show you on Google Maps if I can. It's a massive drop off just over there. So I'm going to work my way along it. Today I'm going to be using the True Prawn, which is an ultra realistic little prawn that I've got over at Jiggle Fishing. So check them out if you want some. Otherwise, let's go catch some fish. Woo! So you can see that drop off just there. I'm hopefully going to, with this wind, I'm going to drift just along it, cast into the edge and bring it back out into the deep first drift. And then I'm going to try casting back out that way into the deep and bringing it back in the second drift. See if we can get some fish or the little tree prawn. Couldn't be bothered changing my rods over, so I'm using my squid rod, which is the Rui K Crusher and the little Vanford 3000 HD. See how we go. There we go. Oh, no, I got off. That was a good little thump. Drag was a little bit loose. Can I come back? Well, just that one hit on the first drift. The wind's actually pushing me in a different direction than I wanted to. So it looks like I'm going to go across this hole a few times instead of running along it. Well, let's pop back over there another drift. So that drift was just a little bit too fast. So I'm going to chuck out the drift chute or the sea anchor, whatever you want to call them. Make sure she's not um, all tangled up. She's not going to work very well like that. Now these things fill them up pretty easy by themselves. So I'll just drop it in and tie it off to the tie-off point. There you go, she's filling up in the back. That'll slow down the drift a fair bit. So if I catch a fish, hopefully I'll be able to over that little area a little bit before I go past it because normally the flat is hanging all together. Got a little nibbles there. It's only a little fish. I find the good thing about these tree prawns because they are a bit chunkier than the worms I normally use. You can filter through the little fish and actually get the half decent ones. You still catch them with small ones but that's filter a little bit. So I'm changing my tactics a little bit because I got a few hits in that spot but I didn't connect. So I thought I'd chuck the electric motor in. Then I'm just going to fan my cast out all the way around the boat. See if I get something. But I'll give you the, a look at the little tackers that are, oh, good look at the little tackers that are having a go at these little prawns. But they're not big enough to scoff them down. So I just want a couple of keepers that are in amongst them. Hopefully I can make that work. So, this is why I'm not too worried when I'm not hooking up to the fish. When they are biting the prawn. I'm not after these little fellas. I'm after their mama. And I caught a flatty straight up. There you go. Just when I was saying, I use this as a filter one. But, little metal, got the first flatty tails for the day. Woo! Yes! Not huge, but getting one on the board. There we go. 
Yeah, that's a rocky. Rock flat end. Pretty nice one as well. How good is that? Hmm. Might keep him. The um. We'll make a couple of nice little flatty tails there. They're really tasty. These ones as well. third and final one I'm going to keep today but at least I'm catching a few um, only came out here for a feed and I've got enough for a feed now it's become a bit windy as you can probably hear but I'm using the electric motor to try and keep me where I want to be but I'm going to spike this fella put him in my little esky fish for a little bit longer then uh, might call it a day got what I came for So I thought I'd pop in on the way back, see if I can catch a couple of squid, put them with the flatty tails. Looks like I've done it. Still super windy. Probably hear that as soon as I turn around like that. I thought I might just be in for some luck. Even in the wind, we're only in about two meters of water right now. And um, managed to pick up that fella there. They scoffed it. That ain't copy. There we go. Nice squid. Good eating size. Alright. That's um on the Rui jig on one of the new colours. Yeah, I thought this little green one might do it. And it did. Got that fella up. Right there. Uh bye bye. I didn't end up getting any more squid. Um, the wind sort of blew me out. Um, it's still a bit windy now, but not as bad as it was before. Of course, I've come in now. But those of you that don't know, this is the workhorse, Stabby Craft 1450, carved by the Mercury 50. And yeah, we've got the Minkota on there as well. Good little rig. Anyway, it was a really hard day fishing today. Went out about 12, normally I go in the morning. We did go out a bit late. Checked the tide, it was now going tired. Thought, yeah, might be on the go. But um, yeah, ended up with three keeper flathead. Caught a few other undersized ones and that one squid. See you next time. Good keeper. Oh, rocky. There's all sorts of rocky. A bit lumpy out here. Got that one. Great swam there on the weedless hook. <laughs> 